Hey guys, I'm finally back with the first video of the year, and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how you can actually create a very simple day-night cycle such as the one you see here on screen with very little code and making use of Godot's animation player. So without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Now, before I actually begin showing you everything step by step, I do want to give where credit where credit is due and mention that I actually learned to make use of the animation player for this sort of functionality from a YouTuber called Penguin X. I believe that was their name. Uh, I learned this uh, from them a couple years ago and I've been pretty much using the same method since then. Obviously, I've upgraded it to uh, Godot 4 and made some tweaks here and there, such as making use of a timer, a timer node instead, uh, which you will see here momentarily. So with that said, let's actually jump right in and get this started from scratch. So here we are in my test scene, which it's already working, as I showed you in the preview, which uh, is working from this node here. So let's actually just delete it to start from scratch. So this is how my normal scene where it looks and to get started we want to go ahead and add a new scene and our main node here is going to be a, a canvas modulate node. So basically what this node does it, it basically tints our entire canvas uh, based off the color property that we set here. So based off of the color that we set here it's going to tint our entire scene basically. So let's just reset it to white again and let's go ahead and rename it while we're at it to be uh, day uh, night like so then with it selected i'm going to do Control a and i want to add the animation player which is what's going to basically uh, give us the functionality for our day night cycle and then we also want to add a timer since it's also important uh, to basically uh, assign the duration of our day night cycle. Now let's actually start setting up the colors for our tints here which is going to affect our entire scene by selecting the animation player going over to animation and then new to create a new animation and again we're just going to call it day underscore night that's going to be the name of the animation we're going to make it 24 seconds for 24 hours in the day Let's actually zoom out a bit so we can actually see all the seconds. All right, let's go over to zero. And now, since we're on zero on our timeline here, let's go ahead and select our main node, the day night, go over to the color property and assign a color to it. So you can pretty much just assign whatever color you want. Obviously for night, you want like a darkish, bluish color and so forth. Now I already saved some colors beforehand, so I'm just gonna go ahead and actually use those colors. So that's this dark blue color is gonna be my first color in my case. And to assign it to our timeline here on the keyframe zero, we're gonna select this little key icon. So click on it and then this little menu is going to pop up. Just click create and there we go. We have our first keyframe. Then we're going to go over to four seconds and do the exact same, but with a slightly different color since it's still going to be night. So we're just going to use this slightly more bright blue color here. Click the key icon again and then there's our second uh, keyframe. Let's go over to eight seconds now. And then do the same thing, select the color. In this case, it's gonna be this orangey color because it's starting to be morning, so sunrise. And then click the key icon. Let's go over to 12. This is gonna be midday. So this is just gonna be white since we want it to be our normal color. And then click the key icon. Let's go over to 16. <clears throat> and select the color again. In this case, it's gonna be this other orangey color for, you know, uh, when the sun starts going down. So then click the key icon again. Let's go over to 20 seconds. And then select our blue color again since it's starting to be night. Make sure that we actually add it to our timeline. And then let's go to 24 seconds and put the uh, first color that we used again. That way it's seamless once it starts to loop through our code, essentially. So these are the colors that are gonna be making up our day-night cycle, such as you can see here. Now, obviously you can pick your own colors. Now, with that, we can go ahead and add a script to our main node. So let's just select the little 
folder icon and let's use snake case for the naming convention day night and then you can save it wherever you want so i'm just gonna save it here and then click load i already had it created apparently beforehand but in your case most likely it's not created so just go ahead and create it and we don't need our ready function here so we can delete that and let's get started here so we want to start by getting a reference to our animation player and our timer so on ready var and then let's just call it any any player or something like that something that makes sense to you uh, colon is equal to and then animation player animation player so that's getting the reference to the animation player and then we want to do the same thing for the timer get a reference for it so unready var timer colon equals timer all right so this is getting a reference to our timer and our animation player then in our process function we want to do is <clears throat> we want to get our past time so how many seconds have passed so var time past we can call it you can call it something else what makes sense to you is equal to our timer dot wait time minus our timer that time left so our wait time uh, we actually need to go ahead and set it on our timer here so this is gonna be the duration of our day night cycle so let's just set it to something like 15 seconds so that we can easily see it once we add it to our level so uh, it's gonna be 50 sec 15 seconds of duration for our day night cycle and we're basically getting here the time that has passed by taking this uh, wait time and subtracting the time left in the timer from it and that's going to give us how much time has passed how many seconds have passed so now with that done we can then get our uh we want to assign a value for our animation frame so bar animation frame is equal to and let's actually make it type inferred by doing call and is equal to uh, remap so we're going to use the remap function <clears throat> so let's actually control click on it so for the remap function maps a value from a range so the first range a starting value and our ending value and a second range starting value and ending value and here's an example so if our normal value is 75 and then our first range is from 0 to 100 and then our second range is from negative 1 to 1 it will return 0 0.5 because basically 75 is uh, 3 fourths of 100 so uh, 3 fourths of negative 1 to 1 it would be 0 0.5 I'm not, uh, hopefully understood that, I'm not the best at explaining this, but uh, you can read up a little bit more on here in the documentation. But we were making use of that method here, and we're going to give it the time pass, that's going to be our value. And then our first range is going to be from 0 to our timer dot wait time. So our duration that we set for the timer, so that's going to be the, the range. And then for the second range, it's going to be from 0 to 24. So we, it's basically going to return a value between 0 and 24, which is, matches with our animation down here, 0 to 24 seconds. So then we can just do animation uh, that play. So we can actually play the animation and then simply go ahead and play the animation we created. So day night is what we called it oh and we didn't call it animation we called it any player <laughs> so make sure you actually use the right name so any player that play day night animation now we're not actually gonna just have it play we're gonna actually also use the animation seek the any player that's what we called it dot seek method uh, so the seek method Let's control click on it seeks the animation to the seconds points in time so it will basically 
make our animation go to whatever value we give it here. So if we give it four seconds, it's gonna go to the four uh, seconds of the animation, uh, four seconds in our timeline, basically. So this is where we pass the animation frame. So we pass it the animation frame value, and that's pretty much all you actually need to make it work. Let's just go ahead and save our scene here. Just go ahead and save it wherever you want. I'm just gonna save it on my main folder here. Now we can go back to our test level and do control shift day and we can go ahead and add that day night scene and as you can see it already tinted it to the dark blue color which is our first value and actually i almost forgot one thing with the animation actually no i didn't uh but with the timer we did we want to have it to actually auto start otherwise it will never actually start so make sure that you actually set the timer to auto start by default now we can go back to our main scene and play it and it should actually be working. So we should wait 15 seconds and it should cycle between all the colors that we assign for the day night cycle. So yeah, look at that, it's working, perfect. So yeah, that's pretty much all you actually need to make this work. I hope you found this video useful and I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, have a wonderful day.